So anywho, I don't know where on earth I was at, but so today I'm just gonna show you all three ways to put in these cowrie shells that you see in my hair. I'm gonna show you all the bobby pin way, which is a way that I've used before. I'm gonna show you all the rubber band method, which I've never used, but I thought, hey, this could be a thing. We're gonna try this together. Um, and then I'm gonna show you all the way that all of these have been put in, which is basically like sewing it right into the lock like this. This is in my, in my lock permanently, unless like it falls out because this hair gets thin or it gets pulled on by my son or it gets stuck in something. Oh, and I'm gonna show y'all how to get these indents out of your lock. Now, I don't know if I could do it with all of them, but I must say, I had one here, right there, used to look just like that, and I took it out. So, I was like, let me share it with the people. Let me share it with the people. So yeah, those two things. How to put in carry shells and how to take out the little indents in the lock. So if you wanna see how to do those things, stay tuned. First things first, let's do the carry shells. So boom, I got a carry shell. I got a carry shell. And, and you can get these at the hair store. I'm pretty sure you can get them off of Amazon. Um, just Googling it. And then I have a baby bobby pin. You can use a big one, but I found that these little ones, they're called like mini bobby pins are better because you don't want a big old bobby pin sticking through your lock. When you see what I do, you'll understand. So boom, take your cowrie shell, and I like to do it on the bigger opening. So it's open right there, right? So cowrie shell, bobby pin. I'm gonna take my bobby pin, right? See what I'm doing here? Put my bobby pin in push hmm. it's a lot easier when I do it without recording so boom bobby pin is inserted right and I did this when I used to like do twists in my hair I never really done this on my actual lock but hey and this probably will work better for thick locks and yeah I did this whenever I just thought about something I did this whenever I had put twists in my hair, like um, extensions. So I didn't really care about that hair. My lock, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if you would wanna be like puncturing deep holes into it. But if you do it a certain way, like if you just do it like this, then I'm sure it'll be fine. But like, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna keep sticking it in my lock like that. But anywho, so you just gonna take the bobby pin, pick a place, right? See what I'm doing here? And I'm going to just, if I slide it in like straight, the bobby pin will come through, right? And that's why I say it's probably a bit better for thicker locks. But I'm just gonna like put it in my lock and just push down. So push the bobby pin into my lock. And once again, my twists was thick when I would do this. So boom, bobby pin is hidden and I got a carry shell. Now it's sticking up, right? So, you know, if you don't mind, you know, cool. But you can make them lay down, you know, like. That bad boy is in there, y'all. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I got it out. So I had put the bobby pin in this way. So I'm gonna turn the bobby pin around. It was in this way, right? Carry shelf, bobby pin. I'm gonna turn the bobby pin this way and put it in. Okay, so this way, the shell is laying a lot more natural, you feel me? And you have like wiggle room, so that's what I would do. I would put the bobby pin in this way to where the little squiggly side is here and then the straight side is on the outside, not the inside, you feel me? You feel what I'm saying? So let's try that again. I feel like this is gonna be better results. So, boom. Just gonna stick it straight in the lock. Yeah, that's better. 
looks more natural to me. So that's one way to do it. So now, like I said, I've never done it this way before with a rubber band. So I have my little black rubber band, cowrie shell. Once again, I'm gonna do it on the fatter side. And some cowrie shells have like a small opening. I like to pick the ones with a bigger opening. Let me see if I can show you all what I'm talking about. Oh, perfect. This one is mad small, y'all. So this one's not only a small opening, but it's a small shell. See that shell? Look at the look at the back. That's mad small. So you wanna, you know, look through the pack and get one that has a big opening. It just makes everything easier. So, cowrie shell, bigger opening. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna bend it, right? So it's like that. Put it through. Get it on the other side. So now my rubber band is through my cowrie shell, right? So, hmm. So now, I think what I'm gonna do is just stretch it like this, right? What I'm thinking is cool. Okay, so how do I explain this? So basically, I'm gonna take one side like that, right? And then the other side like this, right? Can y'all see that? And I'm going to put both of them together. So now they're together, right? I'm gonna pick a lock. Let's do this guy again. And you see what I'm doing? So that's one side, that's the other side. I put them both together. My fingers are gonna grab my lock and just pull my lock through. <laughs> that that did not end up cute at all. All right, let's try that again, y'all. So as I take it out, I'm gonna make sure to keep this to make it easier for me. So I guess be mindful of how you want the shell to face. Oop, my shell's moving. So take this guy. Okay, boom. Wow, interesting. I've never tried this. I don't really like using rubber bands on my locks, just cause I don't want any indents. But I guess like for a day or so, you could do this. So that's method two. With the rubber band, which is not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> okay, I just, there's something new with y'all. Look at us. <laughs> so method one was bobby pin. Method two was rubber band. Method three, I'm gonna do what I normally do. Come, 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 come with me, y'all. Come, come, come. And if my bathroom looks crazy, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it's a little, it's a little cluttered because I am packing up. Like I said, we moving. Boom. Hold on, y'all. Okay, we got everything situated. Um, y'all, this app is dope. I can record and look at myself on my phone so I can see what I'm doing in the back of my head. Tell me technology is not like out of this world these days. So, anywho. So, this is my show I got all ready. I'm going to be adding a show to this lock. I might be able to do it like this, y'all. Okay, so boom. This is really most helpful um, whenever you just started your locks because they come, they unravel easily. But some of my ends still unravel easily, see? And a lot of my ends, because I didn't want to see the two strands anymore, I had unraveled purposely and crocheted them. And so they ended up being like, this like thick i unravel them on purpose so that they would be thicker if that makes any sense anywho so boom i'm gonna do this bring out my handy dandy crochet hook 
and wow this guy is coming out rather nicely and it's only because this is the two strand twist part if i wanted to keep taking it out like it done locked up that would take a long time i would lose mad hair ain't got time for that we ain't, we ain't got time for that so I like to go up a decent height if you can. Once again, this is best whenever um, you just locked up. Or, like in my case, your two strand twist is still kind of there. And so it's easy to take out. Wow, y'all, this is loud. <laughs> so, this is how I did it uh, when my hair was in its baby stages. I, I think I did some as well afterwards, like when it was still malleable. Um, malleable. When, when I could still like, yeah, do this. I'm not making any sense though. When I could still unravel it because it was too sensitive. So a lot of them, most of them I started um, when I was in my baby stage, like little up. So they weren't really locked up. I was just washing this guy, y'all, because this is a good this is a good chance for me to get any lint out. Might as well. Some lint is inevitable, y'all. Even if you like brush your hair and everything, look at that. Because you know your lint gets trapped in your locks from your clothes. You see that? Boom! Get rid of that. What? This and this is lint with like oil with castor oil. I'm so glad I'm not using all that in my hair no more. And if you are, more power to you. But I just used the OD on it, honestly. So I'm glad if I found balance. Hydrate, don't forget to hydrate, y'all. The hair, your skin, your mind, your body, your soul, it all will thank you. So that's unraveled. I go a little higher. Okay, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good with how high up I want. So, I'm gonna split this into this hair feels so healthy. I'm so glad I did not bleach my hair this time around, even though it's mad tempting. You can't get the feeling of like healthy hair back. My locks feel so nice and healthy, yo. They feel so good. Okay, split it in two, right? Here's my lock I want to use. And I picked a small one. Because I didn't want to be doing the most. But when you have thick hair, you might want to pick a big lock or a big shell. So I was going to put this little small one in. It's not like that different. But I think I'm going to put this boy in because... I've broken some shells trying to get like my thick hair through. So yeah, I'm gonna use this shell instead y'all. So boom, right? So I like to go like this, right? So you got a poofy, another poofy, <laughs> a puff. So I twist it up like that to make it easier to go through. And so I like to do this, so I remember I want so this is gonna be my front one, this is gonna be my back one. So the lock is gonna sit in it like this, or the cowrie shell, right? So this is my front guy. This guy could be my front one, but I guess it's how you want it to sit. I'm not explaining that really, but so I'm gonna twist it up all the way to the tip, right? Actually, you know what? I used to like put this right here and stuff it in, but I forgot this thicker, um, oops, got it stuck in my shirt. This thicker one, uh, this thicker crochet hook really makes it happen, y'all. So, all right, first of all, do I want it this way or do I want it this way? So I want the fat part of the calorie shell on the bottom. That's how most of, actually, I don't know, they're all different. They're all different, but this one, that's how I want it. So what I'm going to do is twist, twist, twist. 
you're gonna put this in front and if you don't have these you can use a toothpick and like shove it through and then get the hair and pull it that takes a while but since I have this thank God I'm gonna put it through see and the little hook is pulling my lock through remember y'all this has a little hook see that little hook it's helping me pull my lock through I'm saying remember y'all like if you've seen some of my other videos you'll know this might be like my second video but I think I'll have some other ones already posted using that so boom y'all I got the front side in and sometimes some hair is like left behind so I want to make sure all of the hair is in see like there's a little left behind so that's why these crochet hooks are bomb for this like I said see I just pulled that through I used to use a toothpick and you still can but the toothpick I used to have to sit here and have to go like this oops I didn't pull some out <clears throat> And you can even use something like this, even though that's pretty fat. Or you can even use a bobby pin. You can like stretch it, open it up, and use one side of it. Or you can even do it like this. I've used bobby pins before, kind of like the crochet hook. I've had the bobby pin like help me pull, pull it through. So anywho, y'all, so here's the front one, right? And here's the back one. So you want to pull it all the way up. You don't want to start like right here because then you're gonna have like a gap see what I mean you have a gap so you want to pull the shell all the way up and what I do is I'll start braiding so you have these two you don't know how to braid you're about to learn <laughs> so I'll either split this one in two or split this one in two but I like to split this one in two the front guy so split this one in two and just start braiding and sometimes I, I push it up to make sure it's tight and as I'm braiding too I'll push it up oops I'm not even teaching you how to braid if you don't know how to braid you ain't gonna know how to do this part so okay I got I split it up in two this is my front guy I split it up in two right so now I have three so I'm gonna take the back one put it over take this guy Take the one that just went over and put the next guy over it. <laughs> this is a horrible explanation. And then you just keep doing that with all of the pieces, right? So boom, you just learn how to braid. <laughs> so I'll braid it. Let me know if y'all want like a deep tutorial for real. I can teach y'all how to braid. So after like, you know, I've done a little bit, I'll take like the rest. I'll take like the thin one. I will twist it I'm just doing like a twist right here right and so wait how do I want this to go so if I'm gonna end up twisting it like this the pieces that I'm gonna put it put together with it I don't want to twist it the same way so like I'm twisting to the right right these guys but I'm gonna end up putting them together twisting to the right so I want to do the opposite I hope this is making sense. So look, I have the three that I was braiding with. I'm gonna be twisting to the right to put all of this together. So I'm gonna take two of those three. I'm gonna, sometimes I just like even it out, make sure like they're both the same thickness. So I'm gonna like pretend this guy is over there. He's, I'm holding it, right? So I'm gonna take these two and instead of twisting this way, I'm going to twist this way. The opposite of how I'm going to put them together. You do this so it just makes it tighter. Because if you twist it the same way you're about to put it together with, it falls apart. So boom, right? So now I'm about to twist these together. And as I twist, I kind of go like that. And then I kind of do it loosely so that not like super tight and then there you have it I just put a shell in my look and it ends up eventually 
like this. Like it's gonna get fat and stuff. It's kind of like when you first lock up, your locks are like, you know, they look like twists. But it's gonna get fat. And the fact that I braided it first, it's gonna help it really stay in there. Um, and sometimes I'll crochet it, right? Just to make it tighter. Like I'll take my small crochet hook and like crochet it and whatnot, but I'm gonna leave it because I want it to, you see how it's getting fat already? If, you, if, you have nat if you've had natural hair before, you understand like whenever you do something, like whenever you make a twist and it looks slim and tight, after a while it's like, shoo, it gets fat. So boom, y'all. So that's this guy. Now, I feel like it's a little even. I felt like there was a space back here with no lock or with no shell. And I kind of wanted it, you know, even. There. So now, you know what, I think I'm gonna make a part two for the other part because I feel like this video is already long. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe this video and stay tuned for part two um, when I show you all how to take out the little dent in your hair. In the meantime, between time, be well, be loved to the world and be blessed. It's your girl, Victory the African Mermaid. <laughs>